UTSA. Your Gardeners begin their season September 2nd at Houston. Coach will open up for opening statement, and we'll take questions. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, we're really excited to be moving to the AAC. Uh, you know, we're on our 13th season of football at UTSA, and uh, it's been a, a blur, and uh, we're really excited to be here. We have a ton of respect for this league. Commissioner Resco just came and spent a few days with San Antonio and his, his vision for this this league and how he's fought for it is really amazing. And the skins on the wall that this league has is, is impressive. Uh, also, I think you know what Willie did last year, uh, just Coach Fritz has just been an inspiration to so many of us for so many years in our business. He's done it right wherever he's ever been, and he's won wherever he's been. And uh, what they did, you know, beating USC and winning this league um, is really impressive. And, you know, I'm a Texas high school football coach, and uh, those guys are still my heroes. You know, they all came through my, my school in many years, recruiting my kids, and I've gotten close to a lot of them. And I probably know more college football coaches than anybody in the business just because they were trying to get my kids you know, for 15 seasons, and uh, now I'm competing against them. So I know I might sound like a fanboy, uh, talking about Willie, uh, but I have that much respect for him and so many guys in our league. Our league's deep now. It's deep with a lot of great football teams and a lot of great football coaches. Uh, but we're excited to be in it. And uh, obviously, when you got Frank Harris and Rashad Wisdom on your team, and some of our players returning that we do, we have a lot of great players. So we know we're going to have a good football team as well. Uh, you know, we could have been 14 0 last year. We also could have been 4 and 10. Uh, the year before, we could have been 13 and 1. We also could have been 3-11. and 11. So we are, we're very understanding of how close we've won all of our ball games. So uh, we have a lot of respect for the football we're fixing to be playing. I'll be glad to take questions. Hey, Coach, uh, Mitch Lucas from footballbeat.com, also from the Kilgore News Herald. I know East Texas, baby, East Texas. <laughs> that for me. Um, I'll talk a little bit, if you would, about Frank. Um, my daughter uh, just finished up at University of Texas, and uh, she called me uh, before your game uh, against Texas, and she was, had tickets to go see it. And she said, tell me about Frank Hare. My daughter is a football nut. And she said, tell me about Frank. Well, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm asking you that same thing. Tell me about Frank. Just talk a little bit about Frank and what he brings to the table, if you would. And good to see you again. And, Thank you. Nice job at all your years at Gilmer on the band. Appreciate that very much. Much respect for the Bulldogs. They gave us heck many times in Kilgore, Texas. Um, you know, Frank's unique. That's where I was gifted. Uh, that's the quarterback I got to, when I got to San Antonio. And, uh, you know, I think his story is what makes him so unique. I don't know if anybody really knows all the surgeries the kid's been through. He's had five knee surgeries. He's had two shoulder surgeries. Uh, he really appreciates the game of football. When he takes the practice field, every single practice, he takes a knee and he prays. He goes through practices, practices his tail off. He's the last one to leave. He takes a knee and he prays. He's really grateful to play the game. His smile is authentic. It's real. He's raised by an amazing father, an amazing mother, and uh, I'm the luckiest coach in the world. He's magic. As long as zero's back there behind the center, oh, we got a chance. It doesn't matter how much time left in the ball game. And this is not just some coach talk up here. This is like factual. It's like you've got three years of video if you want to go back and fact check uh, some of this coach talk that comes on behind this podium sometimes up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank Bynum, David Um Looking at what you guys are able to do the last two years, and you're coming to a new conference, and me and the of you to, to finish top two in the conference, what does that say about what your program has been able to do and, and the belief that others have in your ability to have success? I was watching back there while I was watching these guys talk, and I, I remember, you know, when I saw Biff, you know, bang the podium with his pick glass, it reminded me of my first year here. You know, why am I saying that to answer your question? Because it's a heck of a lot better being pick last and not having any belt increase in our conference team, which is what it was when I got here, right? So I know it doesn't really matter. It's just fun. Uh, it's great for you guys. It's great for fans. I understand that part of it, and uh, it's fun to talk about. But I repeat, it's a whole lot better than like Biff banging up here a while ago. And uh, I get it, I know that feeling. You know, you get hired, you're a new coach, 
we were picked last. Didn't have any bone pieces on the team. So I'd rather be there than a real, real bang on this podium. One of the teams you keep on the schedule at MWA.com uh, is UAB, a great rivalry you all had the last few years coming down to the wire. Uh, they have a new coach, uh, Trent Dilfer, who is coming from the high school ranks, much like you, uh, you know, for many years in East Texas. Uh, hopefully, you know Joe Trent. I covered him for about a year uh, at Manila. But, you know, just what are your thoughts on uh, making that jump from high school to college and the success uh, that someone could have like that? Coach Trent's good people, too. So. Um, well, that's the only way Trent and I have anything in common because I can promise you his bank account being where he came from in the NFL is way different than my high school uh, bank account when I was a high school football coach. And maybe our hairdo, uh, that might be our, a similarity. A lot of respect for Trent. UAB is a fantastic job. Uh, you know, everybody talks about we're familiar with the teams that came with us. Well, unfortunately, our three losses <laughs> in the last three years or they're coming with us too, and UAB is one of those losses. Uh, we were very fortunate to beat them on a tilt pass at the very end of the game to win a conference championship our very first time around. And last year, I think we beat them in double overtime. So that's been a, you know, a real struggle for us. And that's a great program. What Bill Clark did there will be, uh, is one of the greatest stories of all time. Uh, now, Bill was a high school coach as well. And uh, much respect for Bill and UAB. And I know Trent will keep that thing going, UAB. JJ Perez, Inside Runner Sports. Jeff, what's the biggest challenge of you, of, the, of navigating this jump to the American for your program? Um, I think it's just some of the obvious. You know, we're going to be playing football for more than 13 years, and we're taking on programs that have been playing for over 100. Uh, you know, our facilities have really upgraded. I mean, us getting that new race building was huge. Um, you know, we've got lights on our practice field here recently. That's huge. Uh, we need to get the, the field covered. That's the next object on our list, right? Uh, just making sure we're competitive. It's so hard in college football to keep momentum. It's hard to get it going at all, but it sure is heck hard to keep it going. And now that you're going to this new league, uh, I think it's very important that we continue to push, that we just keep pressing. And uh, I always want to come across as grateful. I do, because I don't want my well, I, I look back at the Compos me, uh, but at the same time, it's important our boosters you know, we need, uh, we're going to need checks and we're going to need big checks to stay competitive. Because uh, let's be honest, NIL is real, and we, our, our collectives have done a fantastic job to win all city fans, to win all inspired.org, runners rising, but we, we got to keep pushing uh, to stay competitive. Coach Billy, anybody with on three? You mentioned the NIL. How much of your time now is spent doing that fundraising or even talking with you know, state officials and, and representatives to make sure it's headed in the right direction as best you all can? You know, it's funny you bring that up, Billy. I can remember uh, Dr. Compost when she first hired me and she sat me down uh, with our race committee and uh, our race board, I'm sorry. And I remember telling them, if you'll just give me in this 40 to $45 million dollar building, I'll never ask for anything else, and we'll win all the games you want to win. And now, you know, two years later in IL, and now you're back in front of people going, if you'll just get me this, we're going to win a lot of games. And, you know, it's just what it is, Billy. It just had not stopped. I, I spend, I don't want to say most of my time, but I'm either recruiting players or recruiting boosters. And that's, I recruit a lot. And uh, luckily, I've had great health. I love my job. Uh, I love people. So I, I always hate the word recruiting. I wish it was re replaced with the word relationships. Uh, just the way the Lord kind of made me, I just love people. So it's not a big deal for me to go have lunch with boosters. And uh, my general manager just texted me and said, you know, don't for forget, you're having lunch tomorrow with Phil Harburger. And uh, so I'm like, oh yeah, I've got to go do that, right? So it's just, a, it is what it is. Uh, but I'm very grateful to be doing it, Phil. Yes, sir. Coach, uh, James Sackman, T. White, Red Sun. I know the playoff expansion is a year away, but when that happens, essentially the American, every other conference, you can say the G5 is essentially just the same as every conference is the P5, because so many people on the top, you have to be a champion conference, top six, and you're in the playoff. Have you been able to use that at all in recruiting and now you're pursuing players? Because now the opportunity is the same here as it is in the Big Ten, the SEC, and all the other conferences that are quote unquote P5. Yeah, no doubt. It's a factual statement now, right? You can literally, 
And I believe we, no, I'm not saying it's easy, don't get me wrong, but our path to that playoff might be a lot more realistic than a lot of guys that call themselves beat rocks. Let's be honest, if you look at a lot of those videos, there's no chance for most of those guys to get in there. there there's a real chance we can get in there, but there's a real chance people in our conference can get in there. And uh, it's, it's something we're telling all of our recruits, and it's true. And uh, we're excited about that possibility. Uh, obviously, none of that happens if you don't take care of business within 39 days. You know, we've got a great football team in Houston. We play Dana Holgerson, so we're not going to let that get too, uh, you know, much on our mind. But it is something we are telling our recruits for sure. Hey, Jeff, Steve Moore, your words up. Um, just you talked about Frank earlier, but just what has it meant to have him and Rashad for your entire tenure here at UTSA? Again, uh, you mentioned Rashad. Uh, unbelievable parents again. It's just the kids are made by the right stuff. You can have fun with them. Uh, we laugh. We cut up with each other. But when you tell them it's time to play, they they know it's serious. And uh, very grateful for their leadership. There's no way the two and old triangle toughness our brain works without those kids. And and understand, just so you guys are not familiar with our program, we vote for those single digit numbers. Uh, Rashad and Frank both got unanimous picks, like every coach, every player. So that's why they wear the zero, and uh, that's a big deal. I've never in my life seen it. You know, just usually some silly freshman might not know who they are, and they might not vote. But like it's like 150 votes, they each had 150, and that that'll probably never happen again in the history of our program. What do you want, more coach? Jeff, it's Greg Luka at San Antonio Express News. You mentioned Frank and Rashad. We were just talking to them. And uh, last year at Conference USA Media Day, they wore their rings and they were kind of showing off a little bit. This year, it seems like a little bit of a different approach. Do you like kind of the shift in mentality with those guys on the team? You know, it was new for us. You know, we were we were just thrilled that we won one. And, uh, and, and, and those kids did it again, uh, undefeated this time. We had the one loss, you know, the year before last, and they did undefeated. And I, I just think they have a, a sense of belonging, uh, but also a sense of humility. Uh, we understand how fortunate we've been. We've won some miraculous ball games uh, through the last few years. And I think those kids just get it. They're older. They understand it. And uh, we also have a lot of respect for the league we're moving into. And we know it's our, our first four games were stuff that advised the country. And then we've got a very tough conference schedule as well. So uh, we've got a, a huge task in front of us. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you all. God bless. Birds up.